your truck is not loved until it's been kissed. For those of you who watched all the way to the end of last week's John Deere tractor tour episode, you know that cousin Eric spilt the beans. See you later, dude. Um, you're gonna tell me what happened to your truck? No, I'm not gonna, it's still recording, dude. Nothing happened you to are, my truck, dude. You're gonna edit it. And as a result, down in the comments section of that episode, plenty of you have been curious to know what happened. One, red is the color, asked, Spill the beans, what happened to your truck, Matt? Sam C demands, time to fess up, what did you do to your truck? Gleason Century Farm suggests, next video, what happened to my truck? So thanks, Cousin Eric. Thanks for bringing it up, buddy. Well, I guess I can't cry over spilt beans. I guess every farmer has embarrassing moments. And since we've had rainstorms come through California this week and therefore not much action on the rice farm, we have time to address what happened to my truck for you, the fans. No loose ends. And talking about loose ends, some of you have also been wondering the whereabouts of my durable steel shovel. You know, the one I highlighted back, way back in episode 23, after breaking my old wooden shovel a few weeks prior. When a near immovable object, in this case, mud sticky like clay, meets brute force strength, in this case, me, what do you get? A broken shovel. But that's okay. Because I ordered on Amazon the Rolls Royce of shovels. That's not going to break. Well, I still have it. It's right here. See? Nothing's wrong with the shovel at all. But admittedly, this, as I put it back then, the Rolls Royce of shovels has been absent in many of my recent shoveling episodes. This has prompted questions, like from Thomas Miller. What happened to the metal shovel you bought off Amazon? Or this pondering comment from JB Orcutt. Somewhere there is a metal shovel. Last seen in episode 60, feeling abandoned, heartbroken. So I suppose I should address this too. What happened to my truck? And where has my metal shovel been? Before jumping into the explanation, let's just back up a bit. Still recording, dude. Nothing happened you to my are, truck, dude. You're gonna edit it. <laughs> back, actually, all the way back to 2010, we're on a family trip to Egypt. I wish I had more pictures, but my little brother wiped a memory card clean during the trip. Right after, actually, we rode on the camels. Cool, right? So we just have to use our imagination a bit. Anyway, flying into Cairo, we were picked up by our tour guide. Driving to the hotel, the thing that jumped out to me the most was the traffic. The crazy, crazy traffic. It's like the cars are schools of fish and there are no lanes. There are seemingly no laws. Cars are bumper to bumper with no side to side room. I remember Pops asking the guide if there were several traffic accidents or if drivers were just accustomed to this driving culture. And I'll never forget this. The guide turned around from the front passenger seat of the van in the middle of all this crazy traffic. And he said, your truck is not loved unless it's been kissed. And looking out of every single window, you could see that all the cars and trucks around were dinged with minor dents. They all had been kissed by another vehicle. They were all loved. It was an amazing trip. And again, I wish I had some photos or video to show you. Nevertheless, back to my truck, back to my shovel. You all know in the winter time that we utilize our four wheelers on the muddy roads to get around our rice fields. You've watched that in several episodes of Rice Farming TV. So you also know that I like to strap my shovel down with a bungee gourd to the back rack of the four wheeler, as so. Now consider this for a moment. When a near immovable object, in this case a parked pickup truck, meets brute force strength, in this case, a metal shovel handle. What do you get? A nice long dent on the side of your truck. Allow me to demonstrate.
So you see, squeezing a four-wheeler around my pickup on a narrow dirt road isn't a problem unless you forget that you have a metal shovel sticking out about an extra three feet. And so that happened, not just to my truck, I did it to Pops' brand new truck too. He didn't appreciate it that much. Justifiably, I have since then retired the metal shovel. I opted for a vintage wooden handled shovel as you've seen in current episodes of Rice Farming TV. Pop sort of suggested it too. My metal shovel loves our trucks. Our trucks have been kissed by my metal shovel a couple of times. Not something I'm proud of, but at least you all know now. Now you know what happened to my truck and what happened to my shovel. Oh, and also on a side note, on this side of the truck, I backed into a fellow farmer during a congested roadside meeting about a leaky irrigation ditch. And we're out of time. Thanks for watching. Oh, yeah, there is just one more loose end to tie you up. Follow me. About time. <laughs> Thanks, Matt. <laughs> Don't thank me, thank the fans. Thanks, fans. Check out my dog. Heck yeah. Good girl. Keep subscribing even though I got a hat now. See you, Jeff. See ya. Thank you. Thank you. See you, Kiva.